Hello everybody, it is I, your priestess of weird, Maggie Elram. I'm coming to you today on this lovely June the 1st with some updates letting you know what I have going on and what I have planned for this month for you guys. Uh, first I want to talk a little bit about my Etsy store. It is still up and running and if you go to it and check it out, I'm now offering um, a couple of options for some tarot card readings, some intuitive tarot card readings. They are super duper cheap and fairly in-depth. This is to help me learn how I'm going to help people through intuitive readings. So if you choose to buy a reading, that would be incredibly helpful and I would love to work with you that way. So go check that out at my Etsy site. I also have a new Facebook like page for all of you guys. It's uh, Witch and Moon is the name of it and it's so that all of you can go to it and like it and receive and receive all of the updates that I'm putting out for the month. I'm going to start putting out all my videos and blog posts there. So anything to do with Witch and Moon, Maggie Elram, you can go like that page and everything will filter through, through there from now on. And if you still want to add me as a friend on Facebook, that's totally fine. I'm still accepting friend requests. But just know that um, I'll use that more as my personal page. All my products and blog posts and videos I'm going to be putting through the like page, the Wishy Moon like page. Like page. And that brings me to the blog at wishymoon.com. Um, I don't know how many of you are following any of my blog posts. It's something that I've been putting a lot more energy into lately and um, I got really excited and I decided to make a newsletter for you guys too. It took me a minute to decide what was going to happen with my newsletter and what I wanted it to do. And in fact, I've been kind of trying to decide what, where I was going with all this, like the Weird Ass Witches and Witch and Moon and kind of what direction I wanted to filter everything through. And I think I finally got it all straightened out. But as far as the newsletter goes, I plan on releasing um, extra videos for you guys and I know I get really excited whenever I watch like secret videos from other people and that's what I wanted to offer to you guys too. So if you're interested in extra content from me, you can sign up for my newsletter at my website witchandmood.com. And I think uh, this next one that's coming up, I'm putting one out for the new moon. I'm going to release a uh, tarot spell that you can do for the new moon. So be sure to check that out if you are interested. Also I'd like to thank everybody who's already signed up. It's really exciting. Even though like I have a fairly small list, it's really super exciting to see that people are interested in what I have to say. I do appreciate your contribution. Thank you so much. So let's talk a little bit about June and our plans for June. Uh, what Witch and Moon plans to do for June. What Maggie Elram, your priestess of weird, plans to do for June. I've decided that I want to focus more on the phases of the moon for each month and kind of marry what's happening with the moon to our uh, weird nest witches. And so through each phase we're going to be focusing on aspects of self-love, self-development, and worshiping your radical divinity. I think that this just kind of gives me a way to uh, focus my mind on what the fuck it is I'm doing. And it makes it a lot easier for me to get that information out there to you guys. And I really love um, people who do themes for the month, uh, specifically like uh, Jo DeVoe. She usually has a monthly theme and I really like that. So I'm going to borrow an aspect of that idea from her and do a monthly theme for you guys based on what the moon's doing. The first moon phase that we're going to be focusing on for this month is the new moon that is in Gemini, and that's coming uh, this Saturday the 4th. And I think it's really late at night. Oh no, it happens in the middle of the day. And if you go to my website, you'll see a blog post that I wrote about this specifically. Um, it's going to be a really good time to kind of reset your intentions for the year. So if there are things that you worked with at the beginning of the year for your like New Year's resolution, or if you worked on it for during summer sol uh, not summer solstice, winter solstice. This is going to be a time to kind of take a look at those intentions that you set then and then refocus them for the last half of the year. Because I know a lot of people get really depressed during June because they're like, oh my god, half of the year is over. 
But I get really excited because number one, it's my birthday. It's my birthday tomorrow, so happy birthday to me. And I get excited because I'm like, okay, we're here. We have six more months to go. Like, what can I do to make the end of this year awesome? So once we finish up our intention setting, we're going to be moving on to the full moon, which is also the day of the summer solstice. And so between now and then, we're going to be talking about some really amazing ways to uh, celebrate our strengths, also our sensuality. There's so much heat happening this time of year, and so I really want to incorporate that into some of what we're working with. But we will, I am going to go more into depth uh, later on for you guys in some more videos. I just wanted this just to be uh, an update video specifically since it's been a minute. I've been trying to kind of collect myself and organize all of my stuff and figure out what exactly direction or approach I wanted to take and I think I've got it all worked out. I'm really working toward being able to offer intuitive readings and intuitive coaching sessions for you guys. That is like my ultimate goal and so I'm in the process of studying a lot about you know how to coach people, how to do intuitive readings and that kind of thing because I think that some of you would like the extra one-on-one -on -one sessions with me and I'd like to be able to offer that to you but you know I don't really feel comfortable fully giving myself until I have a little bit of training under my belt but that is my ultimate goal so maybe maybe my next six months to a year that's what I'm going to be focusing on for you guys so I hope you're all having a lovely first of June I wish you all the best uh, make sure you go to witchandmoon.com and you can find links to everything that I'm talking about there, including my Etsy store, uh, my Facebook like page, all that good shit. So, I hope you're having a wonderful day and stay weird.